Hi everybody, this is my new YouTube channel. So I'm going to be posting videos every few weeks on here about colouring books and things that's going on in the studio um, and answering some of your questions. And we just thought this would be a really nice way of me saying hi to you that isn't um, on Twitter or Facebook or any of those things. So we'll see how this goes. This is the first video um, and I hope you like it. So for the first one, I thought I would share my top five colouring tips with you. Um, it's very much all just about you having fun and being creative, but there's a few things that maybe might help along the way. So tip number one would be pick a book that you love. If you love flowers and the natural world like I do and all things botanical, don't pick a colouring book about architecture, it will be really boring for you. So there's loads of books in the grown up colouring in category, just find one that you really love and then colouring in will be loads of fun for you. Number two would be to decide on your materials. Really you've got two options, colouring pencils or pens. Colouring pencils are a little bit more subtle and you can do different techniques like blending and layering up the colours. Pens are more poppy and you're going to get a big hit of colour. But if you press hard with a pen, you're probably going to seep through to the next page. So um, yeah, definitely think about which option you're going to go with. Which brings me on to tip number three which would be definitely test out your choice of pen and pencil somewhere sneaky at the back of the book. So there's two reasons for that. Firstly, if you're using pens, you're going to want to see if the ink will bleed or will feather. You're going to work out how hard you want to press with the pen. And if you're using pencils, it's always a good idea to do a little colour check because if the paper is like creamy coloured, the colours are going to look different than if they were used on a white paper. So those are the two reasons that I would say you're better to do like a bit of a test just at the back, somewhere stinky where nobody's going to see. So number four would be, um, don't worry if you go over the lines, I do this all the time. Um, it doesn't really matter, just draw an extra little bit of outline um, and enclose that scribble. But I think colouring should be fun and it's not about making sure you're exactly within the lines all the time. Think of those lines as more of a suggestion than a rule. And tip number five would be to share your work. The online colouring community is huge and so vocal, so whether it's uploading it to Facebook or popping up on Instagram, or even better, upload your pictures to the colouring gallery on my website. I'll put a link in the, the YouTube box at the bottom. Um, and share what kind of colouring pencils or pens that you used. It's just a really cool way to show the world what you've been working on, and also to get maybe some tips from other people, see what they've been doing. So those are my top five tips for colouring in. Um, I hope you have lots of fun and yeah, can't wait to see your work on social media.